Okay. It's weird being nearly done in this game. So I guess I can't have this guy make a, a Geki happy because I'll just eat the Geki instead. Everyone else can be made happy. <laughs> not a very good job. That was not a very good job. Is your tail stuck to it? They got themselves on fire and stuck to the fire. That was, that was fantastic. I don't know you want to get into the middle of this banjo. Why are you so happy? There's like shells up there? Shooting out? Kinda weird. No, no romance or anything you can do with them. And I imagine they still don't have houses, which is so disappointing to me. I wish that was a thing you could give them. They can do tricks, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Dragon Ashes can probably also do tricks. But Dragon Ash isn't here, so... Not much you can do with that. But since we have a moment to wait, I will... Look. And see. Total of curiosity. Thank you, Gretchen. Dragon Ash. I know the scents of all the species here on the island. Give me a job, and we can test it out. Trouble in Paradise. Do they have? Oh, do they not have tricks in Trouble in Paradise? Trick requirements. Feed a question mark to have it perform trick one. Feed a question mark to have it perform trick two. Fantastic. Thank you. Oh, some of them have to eat pinatas to perform tricks. That is weird. I should probably make sure I'm not missing like some like actually interesting or important stuff by my not getting anybody any by not doing the trick thing. We'll see. Look at how where are you? So you can find an egg, you can feed an acorn or a pigsy Good evening. to so uh, Dragon Ash to get the new tricks. To sleep around here. Kind of random, but let's see. There's a stupid expensive acorn. So Singular acorn. I mean, just for the sake of having something to do with the Dragon Ash, because otherwise you just get them and they're there, and they just remain in your garden forever, and that's it. That's weird. We're gonna have both my special pianos end up having very flat heads. Okay. Was that the trick, or is that... Did something get messed up there? Let's see. Trick stick. It's not a very long article. That's how you teach a trick, but will they perform a trick if you... Oh, using a stick on a cocoon will instantly flip you out inside. Is that like the... the shovel? Oh, whoops. Poking the cocoon... ...causes the piñata to stay at its current size permanently. You can poke it before, during, or after the cocoon grows to have a permanently... ...small, medium, or adult piñata. Whoops. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Is that a bug? I should have tried that at some point. There's a mini pinata article. Yeah, it seems like it's just a bug. 
amazing. Anyways, you have somebody to eat. Just, just walk through the water. Dude. Supposed to be one of the most fearsome pinatas in this game. Shells. It's kind of weird. Yay. Aren't you supposed to eat a life candy? Did that ever happen? Well, I, I can't know if they actually ate the thing or not, but presumably they did. There's, there's no life candy anywhere. So why do they have their tongue out? That was something, I guess. Coin you were. Ah, here you. Oh, thanks. You just get more coins back. You'll be it's just a machine that converts coins into more coins. What the heck? I saw your dragon ash is being bigger. Honestly, when, when fully grown. Let's see how big this guy is. The elephant hills are at least that big, aren't they? It's interesting how they're not that interested in, um, in candy. I guess because, well, there's just not much point, I guess? And they're invincible and everything? I don't know. Yeah, that's bigger! Oh my god! I can hit, hit, uh, hit this thing with a stick, too. I don't want a permanently small chocolatus, so... I'll just wait for them. That has a little, like... Congratulations for a growing up present, I guess. I can give them a an overjoy candy and Hello. send them to a party. Chocolate cash melting in your pocket. I'll take it. I'm not Get a nice fuzzy. birthday beating, I guess. Your box Joy candy. I think they're called overjoy in the first game. There you go. That is a big pinata, my god. So that's one last thing to put into the records. So that we still need to do a few more things in the game. I still want to mass romance just a couple more pinatas. Like the Arachnid and the um, Quackberry. Those are the two big ones. We'll see if there are any others. Man, never hit a level cap in this game. It's kind of weird. Um, still need to send a few more piatas to parties. Dude. You like being watered, really? That surprises me. And then I'll have to make sure there's no other mechanic in this game that I'm missing. Like, anything super important that comes from doing the piata central missions, for instance. If not, I don't think I'll do them. I just don't think there's any fun to be gained from it. Um, then maybe just spend a little bit of time doing kind of a victory lap, creating like a garden with literally no pinatas in it. Just for fun.
That might be it. We're very we're actually almost out of things to do in this game now. So what do I do for the rest of this episode? I'm not sure now. Oh, what about that combat thing? Hold on. That was an achievement, apparently. I didn't see that minigame anywhere. Combat metal. Oh. I think I see. That's weird. Pinatas can earn combat medals by winning fights against other pinatas. As they win more fights, they earn they earn better medals. So if you just like keep making them angry, I guess. Yeah, just let pinatas fight a bunch and let them win their fights, and they win medals for it. That's kind of weird. So they win a bronze medal for two victories, a silver one for five more victories, and then a gold one for another ten. It's kind of weird. I don't know if this really sounds that worth trying to do. And like they actually like wear the medal, I think. Note that wild carpinatas won't fight for any reason. What? <laughs> Okay. Huh. Oh man. It's those those medals or those challenges from Langston get crazy. One of Langston's destination challenges involves sending a blue Rorio wearing a gold combat medal to Kenya. Jeez. Yeah, some of this stuff doesn't f seem very worth doing. Some of this stuff is insane. Okay, well that's, how, that's what that is. Um, let me just check out achievements in general. See if there are any interesting ones I would want to go for. Not to just, like, waste time just kind of sitting here, but I don't know what else I would do this. Or, I, or rather, I don't know what else I would do right now. Um, is this the first game or the second game? Party Animals, no. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever play Party Animals on this channel. I haven't, have I? I have the game. It's not that fun a game, in my opinion, but anyways. Use pinata cards. How did how do you like acquire pinata cards in your life? Anyways, how's that work? Just have to did you just have to go out and buy them? It's not clear to me. Give me a second. I'm just curious. I never even heard about this mechanic in the game. Yeah, it's and you're holding up to camera, so I guess you have to somehow acquire these cards. I don't know how. Stop catching on fire, and you you can you can deal. I guess you're fine. I'm not sure where uh, people got these things. I want I want to learn the history of this game. I'm also missing all the multiplayer in this game. This game had a lot of stuff in it. It's kind of crazy. And because they took a game that was already a full game and then built a bunch of other stuff on top of it. Going from the previous game to this one. Yeah, I don't see anything talked about where you get these things, but oh well. Okay, anyways, I'm looking at the list of achievements here. One different mini games a bunch. Restore records. Species from different parts of the world. Play co op for however long. Get a special piano from the website. 
Alright, gold combat medal. Alright, where are the secret ones? Get milk from a flap yuck, whatever. I, I, I don't expect to go for the uh, achievements in this game like you did in the first game, just because, like, tons of these I, I literally can't even do. But. Take, and lots of these seem really boring. Take photographs. What in the world does it take a special photograph? Evolve some things, get twins. Give somebody an outfit. Teach me all his tricks. Oh, what? Have a train. Have an, have an other kind of train. Well, one of those sounds kind of interesting, actually. How do you get that thing? Well, that's just a picture. What? Hold on. There's there's a there's a train that sounds kind of interesting. But I'm not sure. Uh, it's it's items, it's uh, an item that you can only get by doing like all of Langston's challenges. There are items in this game you're not going to get to see without doing all those challenges, and those are insane to do. Someone apparently put a lot of effort into a Halloween garden. But, um... Huh. Yeah, so I, I don't think that's worth ever going into, but... Oh yeah, I noticed you could do that before. So you might, you might remember something that I did once with candy that seemed kind of silly. Doesn't matter. I can turn it all into profit. This is really silly, but so that putt. <laughs> you can golf that way. The funniest thing here is you can do this with any candy. I think so. I think that means, like, strictly speaking. You could um, play golf with somebody's remains, which is a pretty good representation of how messed up this game can be. Take longer pots to zoom out and lower your view. Oh, okay. That's how you do short putts, though. Apparently your camera has to do without you. How far you hit it? Alright. It's really hard to land the camera really, really precisely on these. Oh, it's because it's in sand? That might be the, be the problem. Oh, jeez! That's not a putt! It's not a putt at all. Bam! It's insane. This is ridiculous. Boom! Why is that a thing? Darn it.
My favorite thing is that it also fills in the hole, I think. Yeah. Oh, see, I have two coins. So one silly thing you can do to kind of cheat, though, to always line up your shots, I guess, is to, um... Set up the hole like this. Oh man, that was way too far. What? Come on. <laughs> Goes like crazy though. So apparently, one of these, though, apparently you can get an achievement by um, doing this from a, a long distance. Why is there a world here? Game. Oh, jeez. Yeah, if you, if you wanna... Uh, your camera is the main thing that controls how far you hit it, I think. It's like how zoomed in it is. <laughs> and what angle it's at. Oh jeez, I just hit straight up. That might not work if it's on the sand either, very well. It's kind of funny. It's a, such a weird detail to have in the game. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways. Alright, that's enough for today, isn't it? Okay, so next time... Game. Okay. Next time, uh, we might finish up next time. We'll have to see. Because we'll have to make sure there's nothing else we want to do. Um, a little bit more rest romancing, I think. Maybe just play around for a little bit in a, in a garden. With nobody in it, etc. Anyways. And I'll make sure there's nothing else I'm missing in the game, but I don't think there is. Anyhow, bye everyone!